I was excited, except that when I got the contract, they wanted me to be the chick, wear a dress, can you sing a little bit? Um, and they wanted me to play uh, what they called uh, acid jazz at the time. So I was playing with this group from New York and we were playing Isley Brothers tunes and I was like, okay. <laughs> so, and that's what some of the other musicians were accusing me of, like, oh, you're just coming in here, wagging your ass around to get gigs, like type, just because you're a chick type thing. And I'm just like, this is never gonna, this is never gonna get any better, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, so, so again, again, I was still quite intimidated by the jazz crew and, um, and what would have been really nice is if I had recognized any mentors at that stage in my life. And, um, but as far as female tenor players going, um, I don't know a hell of a lot that are older than me. I know a lot of younger generations, but um, I could have done with a mentor back then. And I, I fought, I fought against everything as far as, all right, I, I refuse to wear dresses on stage. I never, I never would dress girly. I mean, I'm a country girl anyway. So, um, so all these little, all the sexist stereotypical stuff sort of really put my foot down as far as not dressing the part. I'm not looking the part. Um, and I began to draw a fine line between the gigs that I'm doing. Like there's a lot of corporate events where I'm being hired because I'm a female saxophone player and I charge the hell out of the clients. So I, I have, those are the money making rent paying gigs. And then I have stuff that I really want to do, which doesn't pay anything. <laughs> um, but it's more where my heart is, 